Hello, Frank. You know, the fallout from the Silicon Valley Bank debacle continues. Regional banks are bouncing back today, but most are still down more than 30 percent in the last two weeks. Not surprisingly, the ETF industry is moving quickly with new products to address all this confusion. In response to the banking crisis tomorrow, Roundhill will launch a new big bank ETF. Dave Matza is the chief strategy officer over at Roundhill Investments. He's joined us now with more. Dave, you, uh, congratulations. You move with stunning speed to capitalize on this banking crisis. What is in this big bank ETF you're launching tomorrow? Well, Bob, in fact, what's exciting about these ETFs is what you're not going to find. You're not going to find smaller banks. You're not going to find regional banks. And in fact, when it comes to financials, you're just going to find six stocks, which are the six largest and most liquid U.S. listed banks. And so that's Bank of America, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and Wells Fargo. And these are the, uh, the stocks that actually have the ability to benefit from this crisis and not just be whipped around like we're seeing many of the names, such as First Republic today. You have six of the largest banks here. This is going to launch tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, you know, Dave, I've known you a long time. I marvel at how quickly the ETF industry can capitalize on hot investing trends. You put this together in a, in a week, essentially. We saw this, though, in the past. We saw this with pot ETFs, thematic tech ETFs, crypto. Uh, and investors pile in when you've got a hot topic, and you've got a hot topic right now. But these hot topics uh, often underperform a year later. Can, can you make a case why is now a good time, for example, to invest in banks, given all the increased regulation and the higher costs we're going to see in the, in the coming months? Well, you raise a good point. There's often um, uh, a focus on the ETF industry that it's uh, just running to the hot top. But in this case, we're talking about six large banks. This isn't a thematic fund. This is a better way to express a view on the fin on financials. And in fact, the concentrated nature of this particular ETF that gives exposure just to the banking sector um, is really what's exciting about this. And the ability to, to bring this to the market in a short period of time with tomorrow's launch um, is emblematic of this fact. And what we're seeing yeah. is investors are turning away from smaller banks and focusing on those that may actually benefit because of right. the uncertainty. You know, in a move that's kind of reminiscent of what Kathy Woods has been doing, you're also planning to release a suite of ETFs that have very concentrated exposure in other areas. You're going to launch a big tech ETF uh, that sounds like, uh, you know, something Kathy Woods might have done, a big airlines ETF, a, a big defense uh, ETF. Why are concentrated bets a hot topic right now? Is that what the investing public wants, do you think? Yeah, as you noted, I've been working with uh, ETFs for a, a long time now, and I think the marketplace has been asking, actually, for more precise exposure. Um, what we've seen over the years is that in, if exposures in ETFs can be diluted, right? Uh, every cloud computing ETF had exposure to Microsoft and Amazon. But at the end of the day, what's been missing is the ability for investors and traders to have that precision, which is one of the call marks of ETFs from their start 30 years ago. And whether we're talking about big tech, big airlines, big de defense, or the launch of Big B tomorrow, we're offering the precision and focusing on the five stick socks that really matter for that particular yeah. industry. And again, that big bank ETF launching tomorrow. Now, we're going to have much more coming up on ETFs and the bank banking crisis that's coming up on ETF Edge, 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time. Dave's going to be joined by Greg Basick. He's the CEO of Access Investments. Todd Rosenblum is the head of research at Vetify.